Welcome to another episode. I'm Kay the Guy. Today we're going to show you how we make large scale compost extracts in our GOT machine. So first, this is our 250 gallon IBC tank with our GOT brewer attached to the top of the cage. This is how we do large scale applications. The setup includes the large CFM marine air pump and stainless bubbler and extractor. This is definitely something that would be for more commercial, food level production, or large property applications. Again, we are using compost from Catalyst Bio Amendments. You can find the link in the description. Setup with the brewer is pretty simple. The pump and manifold mount to the top of the tank and a T-bar extension sits in the bottom of the tank to push large amounts of oxygen in what is considered a rolling boil. Since the water we are using for this site is treated with chlorine, we can neutralize it with some humic acids. That way the chemicals are no longer harmful to our microbes. I do also keep a small spray bottle near the pile with the same liquid to keep the pile at the right moisture levels. Once adding approximately 125 gallons to our batch, we add 4.5 gallons of compost to our filter bag. When I add my compost to the bag, I usually tilt it on its side to help the agitator tube get into the bottom of the bag. Once the seal and end cap are clamped to the end of the stainless steel tube, we can add the compost and filter bag together to the bell housing and clamp it down. The bell housing clamps via cam lock clamp to the blower piping and once finished we're ready to start. Once the blower is moving the T-bar sends large amounts of air to the bottom of the tank which one gives the water tons of oxygen mixing it up in our brewer and constantly keeping our extract mix thoroughly. The valve for the bell housing and compost filter bag sit on a separate line that allows air on or off directly into the compost bag. This gives a maximum amount of air and agitation to the brewer, as you can see here. We typically brew for about 12 minute cycles before the liquid is ready to use. While the brewer is running, I will typically wet down my compost in the large bag to keep all of our organisms alive and functioning until the next brew. It's extremely important that correct moisture levels are maintained in a pile as if things get too dry the organisms will go dormant, too wet and they go anaerobic. Once our brew cycle is done we typically spread our compost back into the pile for another later brew or along mulched areas. It's very important that all the components are cleaned immediately after brewing as biofilms can form and the equipment could soon become contaminated in subsequent brews. Here's an example of the results that we have seen over a six week period from the property that had been suffering the last few years from a necrotic ring fungus issue on the grounds. The top is before and the bottom is after. You can see that the areas are starting to fill back in, the grass is a better color, and the bare patches have reduced in size. This was over the last six weeks and three applications so far. We are expecting by the end of the season, all of the disease fungal issues are gone and the grounds are mostly, if not all repaired. I also do expect by the next season, the amount of water absorption should increase and as nutrient cycling continues to improve, that the groundskeepers will eventually have no need for even their typical fertilization schedule that they've used in the past few years. Here's just another example of how the Soul Food Web works on larger scales.